Alrighty guys, hello, it's your girl Dr. Samara and we are back with another video. If you haven't already, go ahead and go like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel because it's what? It is free and let's get into it. <laughs> All right, guys, so in this video, if you are a beginner, more specifically, it's for my beginner traders out there. If you are a beginner, let's go ahead and go into the market of Forex pairs. And what I mean by Forex pairs is basically your EUR USD, your GBP USD, all of the above within the Forex market, okay? And so right now I am looking at my EUR USD and we are using um, the Oanda broker chart. Um, and so let's get into it. Now, within this um, strategy of how I identify um, how to get into the market is using support and resistance. And as I mentioned before, as a beginner trader, it's very important to understand the, um, the candles. So if you're not familiar with the candles, I will highly suggest you reading the um, Candlestick Bible. You can purchase that on Amazon. Um, the link the link is actually within my description box if you want to go ahead and go through my Amazon storefront um, to get more information on that. Um, also, I believe you can download it somewhere, um, but I'm not sure if that link is still available. Um, but other than that, if you're not familiar with candlesticks altogether, I highly suggest you being familiar with it. But if you are not familiar or if you are not having the time to really understand the, um, the way candlesticks are at this moment, then I would suggest mastering support and resistance um, as far as understanding um, how to get into the market and how to get out of the market, okay? So first thing first, when it comes to my strategy is always looking at the overall day chart. I like to typically get an analysis of what is the market doing as far as um, the overall trend. And when I mean by trend, I'm looking for either an uptrend or I'm looking for a downtrend. And usually as I um, educate like my um, my students or anything in that nature, I always like to get feedback. So when it comes to this, I always like to pause and let them know or let them tell me, hey, what type of trend is this? But obviously we're not in a live session. So um, if you do know what's going on, go ahead and comment down below and tell me what type of trend it is. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all, it is an uptrend, okay? So this is an uptrend. So Anytime that you look at an uptrend or you look at a downtrend from just the day chart alone, you want to go for what the market is overall going to be in. So when I'm, what I mean by that is, let's say for instance, this right here is an overall uptrend, okay? So for the whole day, I'm going to be looking for buy opportunities because it is going for an uptrend throughout the day, it's going to be more buy opportunities rather than sell opportunities. And then that's vice versa. If you notice that for the day chart for a specific pair is going down for a downtrend, then you're going to be looking for sell opportunities rather than buy opportunities because there's going to be more sell opportunities. Now, if you are a scalper trader, you may want to go in for those small shorts buys but if you're a swing trader or a day trader you're not really typically looking for those type of opportunities okay all right so then we're going to go oops so then we're going to go into our four hour just to make sure that it is still so as you can see this is our trend line from the day chart and it is still going up for in up trends and then we're going to look at the one hour and again, you can see that it is still going for an uptrend. Now the charts is a little bit different compared to the day, but as you can see, it is still going for an uptrend. And then last but not least, you wanna go in for your 30 minutes to see if it's still, so this is confirmation that, hey, we're gonna go in for a buy, all right? And then when you wanna go in for a buy or a sell, 
I typically like to go and look at my 15 minute chart just for entry levels. So for this sake here, I am going to go where the market is at. Now, if you do not know, the way that I su supply my supports and my resistant lines is by candles. And that's why it's very important to understand your candles. Now, the way that I chart my support and resistant lines is typically by looking at the same wicks on the candle. If one wick is the same as the other, just like this, I'm going to place a support or resistant line there. Now, if the same if the same candles are aligned without the wick, I'm going to place a support and a resistant line there. Now, if I have a smaller candle and a large candle, C right here, then I'm going to place it there. So those are the three things that I am looking for whenever I am charting up my, uh, my graph altogether. So I'm gonna go ahead and as I'm going ahead to basically place my support and resistant lines, go ahead and try to mark it up as well. If you are, um, you know, if you are trying to understand how, you know, I do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it really quickly. And I like to be where the market is at. So it's very important that wherever the market is at, this is where I'm going to be at. Okay, so I'm going to leave that alone. All right, so this is where we're at so this is our support line this is our resistant now this is our support line and this is our resistant when i say by hey i want to be where the market is at this is what i mean this is what i mean now just zooming in and now it is a Thursday eve. No, it's not Thursday. I'm sorry. It's a Wednesday evening right now. So it's actually March 27th on a Wednesday at 11:30. Okay. So if you guys already know, Forex pairs at this time is moving really, really slow. It is very beneficial to get up at 8 a.m. to trade Forex pairs. Um, because the market, especially during the New York time session, is very, very at a much faster pace. As you guys can see, it's very slow. So I don't typically trade Forex pairs at night because it's too slow. Now, if you're someone who can only trade at nighttime, try to figure out what pairs kind of move a little bit faster compared to others so that you can make your profits and make some sort of um, just overall uh, profits at night. Okay um so let's get into it so by looking at EURUSD this is where the 15 minute is looking at now I've already stated to you guys that hey this is going to be an overall buy position that we're looking for just honestly looking at this guys I'm going to go in for a buy stop okay and if you're not familiar with the type of style that I use I always typically do pending orders now I could potentially go in for a market execution but I don't do that anymore because I don't look at the market as often. I'm someone who works. I have a busy life. And then I'm also a mom. I'm a new mom at that. So um, life is life and guys. So I can't really technically just sit here at the um, at the table and just be here for a good two hours if I wanted to. So I always do pending orders. Pending orders are very, very, very beneficial for someone who is not able to look at the market but it is also beneficial because you can place a stop loss you can place a take profit so in case if it hits your stop loss at least you were taken out instead of just you know getting kicked out when you're when you're uh, when your account is in the negative okay so you're being kicked out at a reasonable spot that you have wanted to basically feel comfortable with or you have made profit with what you have seen so in this instance, guys, I'm actually going to go in 
for this is going to be a price line for me this is my price line at 1.08247 here and then this is my take profit here at this line here this is my take profit this is my take profit now the take profit is going to be at 1.08263 now you may wonder how many pips is that it's not really that many pips so it really depends on your lot size as far as what you're going to use now this honestly is not that many pips It's literally 1.6 that's not that many okay so you're probably wondering okay but Samara I really need 10 pips if you need 10 pips you want to go higher than that me since I use a, a higher lot size I don't have to technically get 10 pips anymore. I use a higher lot size to where I would basically meet the profit that I need. So in this case, that's take profit one, right? You also have all of these other different options as well. So this is our first take profit here. And let's go here. This is our same wick, same um, here. Then I see here, right here. Or you can do it up here, these candles right here. All right. So not only do you have many different options, you also have this one as well. This is also another take profit. This is your take profit too. And then you also have a take profit three because guys, you know that the market is overall. So this is your take profit one, take profit two, take profit three. And this is all from support and resistant lines. So take profit three is actually going to be 1.08326. Let's see, me, let's see how many pips that is just from looking at our price line from here all the way up to our take profit three. Take profit three is close to the 10 pips that we're looking for. It's about 8.4. Now, if you wanted to go a little bit higher than that, you could go to this one here, which is our um, other resistant line. And that right there is telling us that that is going to be about 11 pips, okay? So, if you are a beginner, it is really, really, really beneficial for you to understand how many pips you are wanting from the market. Depending on the amount of pips that you want from the market is going to identify the the type of um, take profit price line that you're looking for. And so as you guys can see, this is slowly based on my support and resistant line. And once you master this skill and you actually start seeing your profits, guys, it's going to change your perspective of trading. It's going to be a lot easier and you're going to love getting into the market because of this simple strategy. But I hope that this um, video was very beneficial for you all. And I hope that you are just as excited to get into the market. Let me know, comment down below in the comments and let me know if you have started trading and what are your goals within trading what are the amount of pips that you're wanting to secure each time that you get into the market as well as let me know if you are using my strategy um, to help with your trading um, journey as well as your trading um, just your trading dynamic altogether. i'll see you in the next video bye